and welcome to our weekly Facebook live series for Southern Illinois University School of Law. Uh, my name is Ed Dawson and I'm a professor here at SIU. I teach federal courts, civil rights, criminal procedure, and to the first year students I teach legislative and administrative processes. I'm also faculty advisor to SIU Law Journal, which is one thing we're going to talk about here today. And uh, with me is Jen Lancaster, who is a third year student and one of the editors on the Law Journal. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, currently on Journal, I'm the administrative editor, and so my job entails recruiting 1Ls, working to build our alumni network, and also helping to plan our symposium in the spring. So here we'll talk a little bit more about a Journal. So the, the Law Journal is a student-edited publication here at the law school. Uh, it's run by the students. All the articles are picked by the students. They do all the editing work on the uh, journal articles, and uh, the faculty advisor, me, uh, has a very limited role. And so one thing that's neat about that is that unlike many other academic disciplines in the law journal uh, aspect, uh, students do all the work, and they run the organization. Um, so as a second year student, law journal students get to write their own papers, some of which can be selected for publication, and then as a third year student, they run the journal. The edit board of editors runs the journal and everything. Uh, so maybe you could talk a little bit more about the notes that students write and the process or the procedures by which the students run the journal. Um, so your second year, uh, you have the opportunity to pick a topic and also pick a faculty advisor. And um, you begin researching your topic, working with your faculty advisor, um, and then at the end of the year, you submit your article and the board of editors, specifically the editor-in-chief, uh, chooses an article, uh, different articles for publication. Um, and so then your third year, you um, sort of work on helping the second years with their articles, um, site checkings. We have the board that chooses um, articles uh, for publication. Um, so it really is a student-run organization. And another thing that the journal does every year or maybe other years to put on a symposium, which is we bring in speakers from outside to speak on a topic of particular interest in all of the speeches related to that one topic. So we've got one coming up uh, this spring in Edwardsville, and we're going to just talk a little bit more about that. So this year's symposium is on terrorism and international crimes, and um, it'll be in uh, at SAU Edwardsville. We have four panels, so we'll talk about you know, terrorism crimes, international criminal law, uh, going to you know, where terrorism crimes should be prosecuted, international or domestic courts, and then go into some of the issues with evidence gathering, um, and we have several speakers coming um, to speak at this event. Yeah, I think so far we have some judges from Germany who've been involved in prosecuting terrorism crimes. We have several professors who are experts in the field, and we have one speaker who's uh, confirmed who's a SIU graduate himself who was involved in prosecuting Saddam Hussein and so he'll be one of the speakers at the symposium as well and I think that's going to be on Friday April 21st. So Jen can you talk a little bit about how you became interested in participating in the Law Journal? Yes so my first year um, I became interested just because I wanted a way to work on my writing skills um, I also wanted it as something that I could put on my resume um, to sort of stand out to employers. Um, and I also want a chance to be published. Did you find that your work with the journal was helpful as you pursued your career goals? Uh, yes, it was. The firm that I interviewed with after my first year, they had a requirement that you had to be on journal to interview with them, so that helped. And then the skills that I learned from journal uh, the writing skills, the research skills really helped me when I worked at the firm last summer um, and also time management, so it really helped me uh, with that. Right. And Professor Dawson, I assume you also worked uh, when you were in law school on a journal. I did, yeah. So you want to talk a little bit about how it helped you? Sure. Um, pretty much the same sort of story. Uh, I, I also wanted to work on my research writing and site checking uh, the opportunity to be on journal does help you with certain employers and also with some clerking opportunities with judges uh, and then you have the opportunity to be published so my note was selected for publication I think both of yours were right mm -hmm. so she has yeah. two publications that will be coming out after uh, 
or this year, I suppose. So all of those things are great opportunities for students to open up more doors for their career when they're getting started right out of law school. What were the topics of the notes that you have published? So my first article was on uh, red light cameras and the constitutionality of those in Missouri. Um, and my second article was on uh, probationers' rights, uh, specifically under the Fourth Amendment. Great. So, um, do we have any other questions? No. Okay, so um, I guess as we wrap up, is, I don't know if there's anything else you want to talk about as far as the journal, but um, if not, maybe you can just talk, uh, Jen, about why you would encourage students to consider attending SIU School of Law, um, what, what's been positive about your experience here? So I would say um, I really enjoyed the law school community and how um, just open it is. Um, unlike other schools, I know some schools are focused on sort of weeding out like a third of the class. Here everyone really wants you to su succeed and uh, you can really work one-on-one -on -one with your professors and you also have the opportunity to um, join a lot of other groups like journal and move court and trial team. Um, and then also a selling point for me was also the you know cost of attendance. And so now I'm able to graduate with very low debt um, and then also a high salary at the firm Brian Cave I will be working at uh, after I graduate. Okay, great. Professor Dawson, would you want to add anything to that? No, I think that, that uh, all of those points are very good ones. Uh, I've been here this is my third year now, and so I've had a great experience with the students here and the sort of close community that the students have. They all seem to like each other and, and know each other because it's a small group. And so if you're doing law journal and moot court and clinics and externships, it's all with the same people. And so people really get to know each other by the time, which, which is, all, is nice while you're here, but also when you get out, it means that you're going to have close connections who you can rely on as a network when you've graduated. Um, and in addition to that, in the area, it seems like we have a good network of alums and judges and that sort of thing. So all of those, I think, are positive uh, reasons to, to consider attending SIU. Okay, great. Go ahead and wrap it up. Sure. So the, the last thing, I guess, is that we would uh, encourage you to visit the website at law.siu.edu. And if you click through, there's a particular page there for the journal. And I believe it also has the information about the symposium there as mm -hmm. well. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.